Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and in this episode what we're going to do is sort of based on what we've done in the end of the last episode where we were looking at pieces of land in that and Annabelle storages and Pat storages so I think what we're going to do is buy this land, get these trees cut down, try to flatten this land as much as we can and then put a bell storage and since then I have looked at a few mods so we're going to shed that we've got these VDI sheds by Vertex Design that's one option, bit pricey and they but they can store like 800 bells in that well not not these very ones but the slightly versions of these However, I was really just looking at this, where we can just store the bells here, and but in actual practice, I don't think you need to store bells because I did a little test, and I got straw bells. See if we go went to the silo, and it does. I didn't realize the silo accepted bells, so I'm glad it does. So we can just put all of our bells in there, so we don't have to worry about bells and all that. So I think the best thing to do is have a look at which one we're going to go for in the end of it. So I think what we'll go with is the bell and pad storage. It's a nice little feature. A bit more of a South American vibe. Or there is the... Which one is it? A variety of these pallet and bell storage. These ones are by Umatona. And I'm thinking actually these ones are quite nice. We can work them flush against here. And then we can just go flip like so there. Get a trader and just bring it across or for these pallets here. Just lift them up and take them over like so. So that's one thing we're gonna do is buy the sand and do all of that, so but man, we're really growing. This is our fourth plot of land. And this is what, episode 17 now? I didn't think we'd be here at this point. Yeah, obviously, the whole money situation to start off with was a bit. Mm. But it's what it is. We did penalize ourselves, so. We covered the extra money we would have gotten, I think. Or at least in the best part of it, so... So we'll put the mode set up over here in storage. And this does leave us a few options for fields and that, what we can do over here. And I'm thinking if we do... Like an oak field in that then we can do a spring barley or no sorry winter barley in that or fall, summer into fall barley and that will be ready to harvest in June and then we can just do a rotation of wheat barley in that or even do canola in that so yeah, I think we do oats because I think actually I didn't realise the sorghum Actually, I don't think we can feed our chickens those, so... Bit of a whoopsie there on my part, but... Here's what it is, in the little accent, so... Thinking if we... Go and grab you. Get you hooked on. These aren't really worth much, so... Actually, I'm thinking... We'll have to John Deere sec. Since these small trees aren't really worth too much, I was actually tempted to just wood chip them, but you know what? Let's just grab them with these. But yeah, this area here would be just things like any production shed or storages. And we've got this entire forest. Yes, there's a lot of small trees. 
there are some big ones here, 25.5 meters. And this one here. Well, I think that some of these are more thicker than others, so you'll get more literage out of these trees, but overall, this will keep our sawmill going really well. And we still have these trees over there, we need to cut down and sell. Whether or not we get it done in this episode or the next episode, really depends on how quickly we can get things progressed here because I know like not so much last episode but the other two episodes before that they were a very long episode which I didn't realise at the time of recording but yeah I think it was like over an hour long and try to get these episodes back down to around 30-45 minutes at most If we can help it. So that's one, and there's two over there. So grab those. Okay, no, that didn't work. Let's trim these down. There we go. Let's grab you. Yeah, I hate it sometimes where it doesn't let you like enter back into tractors and that. So you have to tab it over. And I really think it's just this tree here, then we start looking at and he sheds in. Obviously we need to remove stumps so we can do that off camera I think get rid of stumps. I've seen me doing it many times before. Let's try it again. So get you down. There we go. And uh, we'll get a couple of hundred years perhaps out of the sawmill. And uh, actually I didn't realise overnight it also did stop producing planks and that so we did use some of these ridge but didn't mean just to pile drive the trader. Yeah, I didn't actually look at that the prices and that, so not prices to Total volume, but so I should know we still need the mulcher in the end of it, so we could have just mulched those trees. So let's go and grab that a sec. There we go, got the mulcher, or well, not the mulcher, the sub grinder, well, the sub mulcher. In the way, it is mulcher, let's mulch the stumps and that. And where are they? Anyone see any stumps? I swear we left stumps in that left. Or maybe not. Oh, and you what? Must find by me. See you soon. That works. So, thinking, go in silos. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we'll use the Umatana one. So, does it have a? Okay, it spawns at the front in that. So that's good. So I should look at some of these different ones. All 250 a piece. Or we can do like really small ones like these. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, nope. That's pallet storage. That's completely something else. So I'm thinking, oh, which one do we go for? 
since this is a timber area, if we try to keep it a bit of a rustic feeling, it's like... Actually, that actually looks quite nice, that does. Yeah, it's a bit plain than that, but... Serves a purpose. And again, we'll go with the same one. And if we go like so... Where is it? There we go. And then just do a quick little cheeky bit of landscaping. So go to paintings. Nope, not that. Nope. Asphalt or asphalt. Well, it's asphalt. So if you go a bit like that, and then perhaps do like a little paving over here. So I'm thinking, if we go. Like so. There we go. Just do a little paved track in that. There's nothing wrong with having a bit of paving. Can't be all just dirt paths all the time. Try it. Get a small circle, just go very nice and neat on along the edges. There we go. Look at that, that's looking nice. There we go. And it's just all blends in. We go look at that. That's a nice little track there. And once we buy this plot of land, we can start extending our paving system. But for now, I'm not too worried about having all tracks everywhere. I think once we get a lot more plots of land and actually connect towards to like the main road to the shop, that's when I think we'll spend some time doing this. Like, full on properly but for now I am happy with that so let's go and get these pads in storage because they're taking up a lot of space and I really don't want to hit that pad limit again because it is quite annoying it is quite annoying indeed so let's go and grab a couple of these Oh, actually, you know what? Since we're coming from this side, we've got to pave it on this side either as well, haven't we? Asphalt. And I'm thinking just go like sweeping across. So, get rid of all the grass. And like so. Well, no, actually, no, we could leave the plow here, ain't in the way, as I thought it may have been. That's good for us, so. I don't even know how these look in storage, but for those who may have missed the last episode. So, let's go and grab, I know, four five of these we will do four, it can do six but that's when it is pushing the limits quite a bit there so four thousand years and we still need to make some money as well in this episode because sell something because just look at our money 124 grand and we need a lot more than that, so... Well, not a lot more, about another 30 grand or so for the seed or... Seed or the planter, at the end of the day. I think we'll go with the planter one, the Great Plains. 
and that was like 144 grand so I think actually the best thing to do is get all of these onto a trader perhaps and then just load them in at once Nah, let's just, let's do these pallets like these, since we're literally right next to it, but for all the other ones, we can just spawn them and put them in there with the trailer, so that's what I'm going to do. Six pallets down, 244 to go for the first one. So yeah, we'll get all this done in the time lapse, and then I'll see you folks when we're... Just about put the last load of pallets in. nine pallets in there and nice and one thing I didn't accidentally didn't realize was actually these are 150 capacity and not 250 but you know what actually I didn't mind that because we spent some time spent a bit of money and we've laid this out quite well got our new forest growing over there so if we can as we cut these trees down we can possibly flatten this out and just in s extend this space a little bit because I'm thinking add some more productions in that things like the carpentry business so there's a few that we can go with but there's one that I'm particularly keen and interested in having a look at which is part of the packing facility which is the carpentry business so I see it is a bit of a tight squeeze, even if you say you put it there. Actually, you know what? Uh, we could put it there, but I am cautious about we need in that planter. And we do need that by March. So if we place it now, are we going to get 50 grand in two months? Possibly with timber. So that produces some, some goods there. So I'm also have a look at because obviously with all of these, the, 
the overall aim goal is to put it into this, so you needed everything to produce your goods, and these are very worthwhile, they are, but we're not all good with those, I'm not sure. Uh, we can make pellets as also, just looking at just looking at actually some of the mods I've actually installed. I'm thinking Ooh, that is a good one. Seed and fertilizer production. We can make our own seed and fertilizer. Nice little production there. We will go with this when we decide to get the cows, so but yeah again that's eighty grand so Need to think a bit of a head on that. But we've got our last bit of produce that we can sell today because they're at their best price or roundabout. So, another pallet of flowers, some eggs, and maple syrup. We did sell a bunch of flour because with all the green that we've been choosing in the greenhouse, we're making a ton of flour. So, sold about 25,000 litres worth of those. So, so I send you over there. Mine transport mode. What about that? It's just I was wondering that cracking along because we do need to move these pallets over. And in terms of our sheep, the baby ones, they are five months old now. And at eight months they can start reproducing, and that's when I think they can start producing wool as well. If I'm correct. So if that's the case, three months, so uh, that's February, March, April. So just in time when we start producing, well, not producing, start selling clothes and that at a very good price, so. Grab these two. Should get rid of that. That is very off putting. Transfer these over there. And I think, actually, with the money situation, we can make money because, again, we want to clear that forest out. So, we can make a bash out of it today. Don't see why not. Also with the greenhouses, I have enabled the root crop and the fruit and veg production. Just because, again, extra income in, and like, how, how long they're lasting at the moment to seize the fertilizer now. Overall, we can make enough money to compensate the costs of all the stuff. But then, if you start looking at getting our own seeds and fertilizer being produced, again, Putting those two together, it'd be very worth it. And when we start producing our own seed and fertilizer, if you want to say we produce too much, we can sell those, and it's not cheating because obviously we produce them. Um, so rather than making money from selling crops, we just use that, get some seed and fertilizer being made. Uh, Bob's your uncle, a bit of extra money. Yes or no, maybe something except it here. So that is eight grand there. Uh, for the maple syrup. Yeah, I do know why I said sell point right there. Because this is a very long trader, so. I have to. Oh, bugger. Flipping back up. There we go, spare. 
That's another two grand. Oh, and we've... That's, that's glitched through. There we go. And is there anything in the used markets popped up? Ooh, X, TLX X52 tipper. Could go that. Go. Yeah, again, this is what we was on about getting. I'm tempted with that. But I think we'll wait for the time being. So let's head back to the farm and let's think about where we're gonna do what we're gonna do next here. So we're back at the shop because I've been thinking about it, sort of aiming and I'm in. And you know what? First of all we're gonna spend a lot of this money. First of all, what we're gonna do is upgrade the engine. Fifteen hundred horsepower. And it could do nine miles an hour. Next we need a login trader and that other trader if you've got is okay but having issues getting the log forks on it. No, it's not under there, it's under bell loaders. Oh no, perhaps it is under traders. Have a little look. Yes it is. The fifty three foot or fifty three meters or inches, whatever it is. No, not inches. <laughs> I think it's feet, so a very long trader. And the good thing about this is it has so many configurations. Liquid tank, tipper bodies, all these, these are the unrealistic versions, but Surrey spreader, we can do Surrey. We can transport liquid, so milk in that. And this is one I'm looking at, log forks. And I'm looking at thinking, go for wide tires. The hitch, I'm not too worried about. I'm not going to spend any more money on the frame colours or that. So, yeah, that's a big chunk of our money gone. But I think it's going to be worth it because with all the timber we're going to be cutting down, it is going to make our money back. The engine is more of a quality of life, but the trader, that's multi-purpose, so now we've got our big trader that we want for this, so. And what else? Yeah, so if we do story spread in the future, we can do that if we so desire. So yeah, a bit of an expensive up front. Well, that was a tip in. Okay, may do that when you're going. Yeah. Me took your drift. But obviously when we pull these logs we are gonna be very careful with it. <laughs> or at least I say we'll be careful. We may not do that, but that's what I'm saying we're gonna be. So I guarantee at some point we're gonna end up flipping this thing, so Let's hop into the Komatsu. And we'll make a sort of this now. And then we'll see where we go in the next month, because next month is also a very good month to sell timber. So I think wood is actually at its best price in February. If you have a look here, go down to wood. Best price is February, March time, so if we sell at the, well if you can sell outside for the container, if not. It'll be at the farm shop, so make sure we got, no not 8 meters, we want 6. I'm just going to cut these. I 
can't get one more out of it. So we'll make a lot of money from this, especially if we stick to the big trees. Small ones, well, we can have a look at that later on. And also, with our new plot of land, guess what? That's grass, and that could be a very good... I should get rid of that. Source of hay for the sheeps slash cows. Aligned. No, that was a bit too far down. Because we'll make bank on this easily. And obviously, with the tree harvester, get the perfect tree length of 6 meters. So we're showing extra, well, not extra, maximum profit for these logs. So obviously if they're too small, too big, it'll throw off the buyers. That means extra work for them potentially to transform those logs into whatever it is they're using those logs for, but that's our business. We know is they want big logs and we'll give them just the perfect size amount of logs. Because that is, apparently we could do three section so six meters there six meters six meters so obviously that implies off we get our loading correct <laughs> in size on the word if so there we go Let's grab those of course with these bits on the back we always go a bit over don't have a wheel loader or a teleander. How much is a teleander? A thing you market? Of course not. Teleander's going to be the way to go. For the Murdo, 90 grand. And we do need that planter, so we'll manage with this. It just means we can overstack this, which perhaps in hindsight is a good thing for us. It limits me on what we can do here, so I'll go see where this goes from here. Do a little time lapse, get this all done, or at least a good chunk of this done. And then I'll see you folks after we're done here and see how much money we can get.
timber and overall not too bad. Could work on our speed since a bit better, but all in all, not too bad of the work. So we spent like what was it, just over eighty grand on the trader and the lorry. Let's see fifty grand out of this trader. How much timber are we gonna get just from one load? Oh, oh no 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 don't tip don't tip don't tip tip don't tip no oh it's just very like slow rocking tips man even on some of the silver run forest we got the same issue but regardless so try go to the sell everything container So we'll work on that. And reverse up. How much are we going to get? 30 grand, I'll say. 31 grand. And that's not even all of it, that's like two thirds of it, literally. Thirty-five six. So thirty-five six plus fourteen grand. So that is forty-nine grand there from one load. Yeah, we're definitely going to be looking really good and still be able to afford that planter, so that's covered the cost of the engine upgrade or almost the entire trailer itself, so took a gamble and it certainly has paid off for us. I remember still got those trees over there, they'll get us Actually, perhaps looking at what we've done, that's, that's going to be about a trailer's worth of timber, so... And just remember, if we have a look here... Come on, game... There we go, that's just that section. Still got all of this yet. Yes, we need to remember, we still need wood for the timber, so... Well, for the sawmill. So I think this wood here would be used for the sawmill. Actually, speaking of which, how is the sawmill doing? The one's okay. So that we done, what, about four months ago? So yeah, yeah, 1200, wait a minute, 1200, 12,000 it uses a month, so that's 12, 24, 48. Five months, so in the January, February, March, April, May, June. So we've got till end of June, and I think all in all, yeah, we're all right. We've got ourselves covered. All of our productions are looking good. That will fluctuate, so I'm not too worried about that. Clothes looking good. Is anything spawned? So we'll keep on our productions just to see how everything's doing. Nothing thus far. I have never pad it off the oils in in the moment. Bread, I have another pad of that coming up soon. That is a very slow production, that is. That's the downside, it's on the far side, it is quite slow, so. It is what it is, I'm not too fast. Yeah, it says like, materials are missing, but if we go to next hour, it's got the materials it needs. Not a lot, and it's also, I think we're still making money on the pig food, so all in all, it is looking very good for us, so 
that's where we're going to leave it for today. So next time will be in February. We'll finish that off. And try to think what else. Maybe get the fields prepped over here. And figure out what what we want to do. Because I'm thinking. Oof. One big field here, going to here. And then a divider. And the second field going to here and down. Or arc its way around here. And I think, yeah, where this where it curves here, if we curve it and curve it back into the forest there, because then this leaves this space here available for our expansion in that, so all in all, I'll say it's a pretty good plan. But hey mates, that's where we're gonna leave it. As always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us then please be my guest. If you subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But for a choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.